Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is Photoshop Element 6 Video Tutorials. I'm your host Jack and in this video tutorial I want to talk to you a little bit about how do we combine two different pictures to create one. This is used sometimes, um, let's say, well for instance, a lot of trips I go on with my family, I'm behind the camera. So I take a picture and I can't be in it because I'm the one holding the camera taking the actual shot. And what I want to do is combine those two to actually make it look like I was in the picture and I can do that very easily with Photoshop Element 6 using what's known as the Magic Extractor tool. Let's go ahead and get started and we're going to go back and use my gnomes once again. So I picked out two different pictures in the actual organizer. I got them highlighted here. I'm going to right click and we're going to go to full edit. What this is going to do is it will bring both pictures up in the editor window and they'll also be down in our photo bin. There's the first one and there's the second one. Now how we're going to do is we're going to put them side by side and as you can see here it only has a background layer of the current picture that's on top. The one in the background is not on here. Now if I select on that then that will be selected over here in my layers. That's the first one, that's the second one. Now in Photoshop Element 6 it's very easy to take one picture when it's open up in the editor and drag it and drop it onto the other picture and let me show you what I mean by that. We'll click this and we're going to drag it over and see how it changed to a plus sign. We're going to let it go. We can move this around but it's not very flattering because it's covering up most of the other picture. And even if we went in and lowered the opacity down, we can see the other picture, but that's really not that flattering either. We want them both at 100% so we can see what's going on with both of them. So to delete the layer, let's just click on the layer and drag it to the garbage can and drop it. Now we're back to the originals. We want to take this particular picture and we want to extract just the gnome so we can put the gnome over here. We don't want all of this uh, rest of this blue background because we already have the background here. We're going to make the illusion that instead of my collection of gnomes being one that we have more than one gnome in my collection. So you can go into image and go to magic extractor. Let's shrink this down here. So we can see what's going on there we go now here's what we want to do is we want to extract just the gnome itself so we need to go in here we can actually move the picture up a little bit with the move tool so we can see the gnome and these are our foreground color is red the background color is blue this is your brush size now if I select the plus that's what I want to keep what I'm going to do is just lightly color over with the red what I want to keep. You don't have to be real fancy with it. And if you go outside the lines, I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a moment since I did that. You know, try to stay in, but you don't have to be fancy, just draw over it. And what you're doing, you're just telling Photoshop what you actually want to keep in the actual picture. And then we're going to tell it what we want to extract it from. And make sure you if you're going blue on blue, keep as much as the blue as possible. You know, see what I'm saying with this hat? You want to keep as much of that blue as possible. If you made a tool such, I uh, made a tool. If you made a mistake such as right here, you see where that's on top of that blue background that we're trying to get rid of. Click the eraser tool. You can easily just go over here and erase that. Just kind of straighten that up a little bit to get that off of there. Now we want to pick out what we don't want. And what we don't want is the background. So select that and just start drawing over that with your mouse. I'm just left clicking the mouse and I'm just pulling it around. I don't have to be fancy. I don't have to color it all in. You're just giving Photoshop elements just a vantage point of what you don't want in the background. You don't want any of this. We don't want anything over here. We're just going around him. Not really tracing him, just kind of getting around him as tight as possible. Make it the best uh, extraction that we can possibly have. 
and we're going to just do this and that looks pretty good now look right behind him here and it probably won't give us much trouble in our picture because we have this same wall in in the actual picture we're moving into but to make sure we extract it you see the little blue in here that's behind us this is actually a, a void in his arm so take your brush size you can lower it down a little bit so we can get in here really easily again you're on the background so just click in here and we're going to take that out also now what I like to do before I click OK is I like to preview just to see what I got let's click on preview and it's going to render our decisions of what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of once it does this then we can have a look and make sure we're okay. If not, we can go back and actually kind of touch it up a little bit and make it even a little better. Now that we're getting this uh, extracted here, and there's a lot of ways you can extract things, folks. I mean, you can go in there with the um, magic wand and you can actually click around, or the you know magic selection brushes, you can click around and select it and copy it over. But this is just a really nice, easy way. If the tools are in here, then why work harder? I always say work smarter. We're going to extract this out. Sometimes the demonstrations seem like they're partly uh, waiting, but I just want you to see how this works. And we're going to bring it up here. There you go. Now you see what we're keeping, and you see the background. What the background did was it disappeared. Or what it really did was it made it transparent, so we can no longer see it. With that, he looks pretty good, so I'm going to click OK. When I click OK, now you can see there's no background in there any longer. It's just Mr. Gnome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we can take Mr. Gnome with our Move tool, and we're going to move him over and drop him on this picture once again. Now at that point, we can just minimize this or close it. And then this one we're going to view fit the screen. I'll move it over here so we can see what's going on. And now if you click on him and do a control do a control T, we're going to be able to size him. And on a Mac it's a command T. And it puts this free transform box around so we can transform his size. Let's go ahead and transform his size down so it makes it look like I have a couple different gnomes. You can place him wherever just by moving him around, drag him around there a little bit. Once you get him where you want it to be, click the little check. And then that's going to put him in there. And as you can see, now he's on his own layer. And we're going to get into layers in the very next segment. That's why I wanted to start off here and then I'll go right into layers. At that point, let's say we want another gnome because we want to make it look like my collection's pretty large of gnomes. Do I have to do that all again? Bring this up and pull it over? No. Here's what's really nice about layers. I can duplicate this layer, click on it, pull it up, and drop it. Now watch what happens. I have another one in the exact same spot, but he's now movable. I can move him over here and drop him there. And if you want to, again, do another control T. You can even make him a different size because it's a separate layer and that's what we're getting into next is layers. We could do whatever we want to with that layer and not move around or mess around with any of our other layers. Click the check and there he is. He's sitting in there and he's good to go now. Now we have a gnome family. Well folks I hope you enjoyed the magic extractor and I'm uh, going to be back with creating layers and we'll work with the exact same place where I'm leaving off here. I'll see you soon. Take care.